Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. A beautiful evening to you as you make that journey from your various places of endeavor back home. We're here to keep you company all the time to supply the infos that will keep you moving. This is Insurance on the Move. We are changing gears right now to focus the conversation on insurance education courtesy of ICO Insurance PLC. All right. Our aim here is to ensure that you have better grasp of how insurance works so that you can take good advantage of it when the time comes. It's nice to have you join us. My name is Victor Oteri. All right, then. So today we're going to be looking at a very unique insurance product, which you will definitely need especially for those of you that do a whole lot of traveling. So we are making reference to travel health insurance. So what kind of insurance policy is this and when is it needed? Uh, plus, what are the prospects of you tapping into a travel health insurance? These are many more I'll be reflecting on. If you can keep us company from now through 7 p.m., we'll also be serving you traffic updates as they come in from time to time. But first off, let's take a detail to have a word from our partners. And when we return, it'll be time to begin the conversation. Wow! What just happened? What kind of question is that? Can't you see? Wow! That looks like a brand new SUV. What kind of vehicle is that? What kind of question is that? Can't you see? Was it the motorcycle that cost it? Or the cooling van? What kind of question is that? Can't you see? But why is that man smiling and pressing his phone instead of pressing that careless man's face against the car's floorboard? And what kind of question is that? Can't you see? But what kind of man is that? Quito, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. seriously, what kind of man is that? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the kind of man that has prepared for the unexpected. The man that knows that when accident happens, Ico Auto Insurance Plan keeps you covered so you don't have to worry. Get the Ico Auto Insurance Plan today. Call us on 0700 Eye Contact. That is 0700 2442 668228. Or visit www.icoplc.com to learn more. Ico Insurance, your stable friend. Yesterday, today, and always. Stable friend, yesterday, today, and always. Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM Insurance on the Move is a program we set for the conversation this beautiful Thursday evening. Of course, it is the last Thursday in the month of August, so there must be some kind of excitement in you uh, that we are heading towards the ninth month of the year, which is my own month, by the way. Uh, let, let's talk about the traffic situation right now. Ikurudu Road, we can tell you Udu Yalaro, the Kanta Flu Corridor is still very much in place. As we speak right now, and so uh, we have steady movement on Odu Yalaro Bridge, proceeding towards New Garage. It's a slow and steady kind of movement. Good movement after New Garage connecting or Jota. That's what you'll find at the moment. Bank Anthony Way, we can tell you, uh, we have some fuel dispensing uh, activity. Okay, okay, Northwest, right, and total filling stations. Along that uh, Mobalaji Bank Anthony Way, uh, we have some long queues there. Uh, but of course, what they are trying to do is to try and streamline them. And uh, so we have backlog of traffic that has extended beyond Night Hill Junction and Anthony, respectively. All right. So, but the good news we have traffic managers doing the needful within that corridor. Those of you making that journey on the Third Bayland Bridge, I understand it is slow from Unilag Waterfront heading wa- towards uh, Yanowuru all the way to Alakbare. Nothing unusual. Field queues as well. Uh, well, so that's what we'll find at this time. And it's even extending and affecting those of you coming in from the Bagada end this evening. 
Okay then, so let's sink our teeth into the conversation today because we are doing something. We're talking about um, travel health insurance. A lot of times when people travel, they never think about insurance. I'm talking about people traveling outside the country. So when traveling, many people are quick to overlook the need for travel insurance. They often believe that uh, buying a travel health insurance policy is an unnecessary cost. That's what you hear from people if you ask them. However, this is a misconception as travel health insurance can save it can save you significantly and it can save significant amounts of money if unexpected issues arise while you are abroad. Now, this was the unfortunate situation that um, confronted Mr. Peter when he traveled, All right? Mr. Peter was expected I mean, was uh, actually excited about his first solo trip to Japan some years back. And he meticulously planned every detail from visiting ancient temples, you know, to trying local cuisines and so many things. I mean, he just wanted to enjoy himself. Uh, he considered himself fit and healthy. But um, Mr. Peter decided that um, purchasing travel health insurance was an unnecessary thing. So he skipped it and he went for his uh, trip. Now, halfway through his trip, Mr. Peter suddenly developed what we call severe abdominal pain. He was rushed to a local hospital in Japan where doctors diagnosed him with uh, appendicitis. Now, an emergency surgery was required and, of course, the total medical bill came to about ten thousand dollars now mark my words ten thousand dollars in today's world you know how much that would be unfortunately without travel health insurance mr peter had to cover the expenses out of his own pocket hmm. now the financial burden didn't just end there mr peter's recovery meant that he had to extend his stay incurring additional accommodation as well as rescheduling costs as well so his once thrilling adventure now turned out into a financial nightmare and this is simply because he overlooked the value of travel health insurance well listeners this evening we're going to be talking about that and for more on this let me turn to my guest who is a friend of the house she's going to be taking us through how travel insurance works oh you don't care Adebayo is here with me. She's a senior manager travel insurance retail for ICO PLC and she'll be taking us to the classroom this evening. Uh, Yerunke Adebayo, nice to have you in the building. Good evening. Oh, thank you very much, Victor. Uh, good evening, Lagos. Uh, good evening, listeners. Right. You just heard the scenario I painted right now, right? Exactly. So, would the situation have been different if uh, Mr. Peter had a travel health insurance? Yes, of course. Uh, you will have avoided the unfortunate situation had it been a had um, purchased travel insurance. Right. So if that's the case, I just needed to briefly describe what travel health insurance policy is all about. So um, basically, travel health insurance um, policy provide comprehensive health protection mm. to travelers on overseas trips. Okay. So, people who are traveling abroad, there's a comprehensive cover for them. Exactly. Okay. So, now that you have briefly explained what travel health insurance ex is, let's now look at what it covers. So, what does the policy actually cover? Yes. Um, when we talk about um, travel health insurance, what it's basically covered is uh, it covers emergency, medical related expenses. It covers repatriation on medical reason. It covers evacuation, so we have we have juicy benefits mm. of um, what travel uh, air insurance is, is all about. But this uh, is just the fundamental uh, um, benefit and cover for that one can get from yet. it. All one, right, one can get from it. Okay, I'm sure you'll be telling us how much one we pay for all of this because the way it's standing, it looks as if it might cost an arm and a leg. But mm. for purposes of uh, clarity. I just need some further explanation. So, what is emergency medicals? What is evacuation? What is repatriation? I need to break that down for our listeners this evening. Yes, um, when we are talking about emergency medical, as um, the word connotes, uh, so it refers to unexpected medical expenses as a result of illness or, or injury. So, when you are on that trip, as the scenario of um, Mr. Peter 
I mean, was uh, told this evening. Mm -hmm. So when you are on trip and if emergency occurs, so if you have travel insurance in place, this is what will be suitable and this is what we cover it. And when we're talking about evacuation, evacuation occurs when there is a need to transfer um, a sick person or an injured person from one location to, to another, another when um, treatment can be obtained. Right. Or yes, maximally. And when we're talking about repatriation as well, it means to bring back the remains of individual following the death of that individual. We do not pray for eventuality. Mm. But if eventuality occurs, that means um, when travel insurance uh, is in place, uh, it's, uh, it's it's still going to cover you know, the means of um, repatriation or bringing the remains of the individual back to his own country. All right. So the first two you mentioned, uh, emergency medical as well as evacuation, that would apply to Mr. Peter's scenario. Is that correct? Exactly. Okay. So you just told us now other benefits that comes with uh, the travel health insurance cover. So let's reflect a bit more. Apart from these three, are there other benefits as well? Yes, we have uh, various benefits to juicy benefits when it talks to um, uh, when we talk about uh, travel health insurance. So apart from the one that I've mentioned, we, we still have ones for compensation in the event of loss of baggage. So we have um, travel ticket for a close relative. That is if the scenario that I've mentioned, if anything should occur and there is need for a close relative to travel back home with uh with uh, with the beneficiary so okay. there is the provision for that as for well. that person as well exactly and oh. and for data and optical expenses um you are still going to enjoy your cover with this okay. we have delay mixed pressure and and so on and so forth personal accident personal liability cover visited by member of a family and so on and so, so forth. So in the event that you go, you, you are enjoying yourself eating all the medemedes yeah. and then all of a sudden you now develop this tooth pain, yeah. unbearable tooth pain. You're saying now that uh, the policy will cover it as well? Exactly. Wow, wow. That is very comprehensive. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that the basic purpose of um, a travel health insurance is to plan for emergency medical expenses. Yeah. So do I still need to get a cover like that when I already have a health insurance in place? Do I still need a travel health insurance? Exactly. You need a travel health insurance. Why is um, that? Yes. Um, when we talk about health insurance and travel health insurance, although they are relatively um, the same, but for health insurance, that one is when you are uh, within your um, uh, home and when you are maybe your st um, country of origin. Okay. But when we're talking about the travel health, that is when you travel abroad. Okay. So that is where we are going to need travel health insurance. So when traveling abroad, I will need a travel health insurance. It's exactly. quite different from, from the, the normal health insurance that we have here. Exactly. Okay. All right. So I know that, um, you know, most insurance products that have been discussed on this platform usually cover like a period of one year. Or, I mean, when you talk about the duration. So how long does that, the travel health insurance cover how long does it cover last? Um, well, uh, for travel late, when talking about travel late plan, uh, it's so flexible. So it's the, it's that one is it depends on the duration and the destination, so of um of the coverage. So for ICO, um, you can we have a, a coverage that is as short as seven days, okay. and up to ninety two consecutive travel days, and uh, we have as long as. Four years. Wow. When we call it, uh, when it is a multi multiple trip. Right. So it could be for one week if yes. I'm going to Europe. It could be for three months exactly. if I have to stay somewhere in the United States. Yeah. And it could even be for four years, you said? Exactly. Wow. That four years is going to be modified. Yeah. All right. So what is the scope of coverage of uh, the travel health insurance? Yeah. Um, for travel health insurance, uh, when we talked about it, you know, we know that is one, one, what we, we're going to do abroad. So the scope is, is within the Schengen countries and non-Schengen. The non-Schengen aspect is the worldwide. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so Schengen countries, which countries are referred to as Schengen countries? Uh, so the country that uh, refers to Schengen country, they are this uh, abolish um they are the con Europe countries okay. that have abolished passports control at their mutual borders. So um this um, mostly 
function as a single jurisdiction for international travel purposes mm. with a common visa policy. So we have the Schengen countries, Schengen state, they are up to 29. Before it was 26, right. but it has now extended to 29. So with the Schengen country, you need to have um, when you are applying for your visa, mm. so mostly of the Schengen country, the travel at international is 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 compulsory for you to have. All right. So the the other one is um is is travel is um worldwide. worldwide. Right. So the worldwide too is compulsory for you or is necessary for you to have travel let when you're traveling. To. All right. Then Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Travel health insurance is our focus this evening. This is uh, still the summertime. So we we'll see our people that are traveling. And what we're saying here is that you need to get a travel health insurance for you to make that journey abroad, for you to be very, very secure in the event of anything happening to you. We're going to take a short break right now. When we return, Yerunke Adibaya will be telling us which countries can be classified as Schengen countries and which countries fall under the worldwide plan. These are many more we'll still be reflecting on, plus your own contributions too. And that will be on 0809-912-0777 and 091 Five three eight seven seven one two seven. A brief break. We will be back. Honestly, I am fed up of my street. Hey, what's wrong now? I think my street is jinxed. Over the weekend, my apartment was boggled and the criminals made away with valuables. Mm. They even took my son's toy treasure box. Stable and reliable. And just this morning, there was a huge fire incident in my neighbor's house and he lost everything. I mean everything. Wow. Anyway, like I said before, stable and reliable. What are you saying? Are you mocking me? Papa. Of course not. I just said Obtainable, stable. portable, blah, blah, blah. I can rhyme too. It doesn't help my situation. <laughs> okay, you remember I had similar experience last year. But Thankfully, I had signed up to a fire and burglary insurance plan with a stable and reliable partner. I call insurance. Oh, now I get it now. Yes. But why didn't you tell me all this while now? When the unexpected happens to your home appliances, ICO provides the insurance cover that makes you worry less. Get the ICO fire and burglary insurance plan today. Call us on 0700 I Contact. That is 0700 2442 668228 or visit www.icoplc.com. To learn more, Ico Insurance, your stable friend. Yesterday, today, and always. Lagos Traffic Radio, another six point one FM insurance on the movies the program. And I see her with me in the studio this evening, Oyurunke Adibayo. She's a senior travel health insurance expert from Ico Insurance. And we're talking travel travel insurance this evening. So you just know how. It is very, very significant. I get a pen cinema corridor. We can tell you it's busy movement from Fumek inwards, Acme Junction. It's a very busy one as we speak right now. Uh, metal box down to Wemco. So looking busy too. Ijai Road in and out of Odueno connecting areas like Obaogunji is also busy. Approaching pen cinema uh, proper that's talking about the bridge down to Nightel is appreciably good too, but slow connecting about your. Uh, this is due to alternation at that location. All right, then. So if you want to ask any question that relates to uh, this travel health insurance, feel free to join us on 08099120777 and 09153877127. 09153877127. Now, Ronke, which countries are classified or which countries fall under the Schengen uh, insurance plan? Yes, thank you, uh, Victor. As I said before, I said that this country, they are European countries, um, and uh, we can just uh, mention them. They are just like France, mm -hmm. Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Denmark, Greece, Finland, um, Norway, Spain, and so on and so forth. But um, of recent, uh, the last year, mm. Croatia um, joined. Okay, Croatia um, has been added. Yes, Croatia has been added. Bulgaria, too, has been added. And likewise, Romania. Romania. So, if you're tra traveling to this country, you know that they are being classified as Schengen, Schengen country. countries. Where now, which countries fall under worldwide? So, I, any country that is not mentioned um, from that is not part of this um, 29 uh, European countries, mm. they fall under worldwide. Right. So, the worldwide, like Canada, we like UK, like USA, and so forth, okay. they fall under worldwide. So, if I'm going to Argentina, I'll be under worldwide, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. We talk about the premiums that uh, one can pay zero eight zero nine nine one two zero seven seven seven. Uh, these are the numbers. Uh, 
a system of you are trying to uh, connect with us as well. 0915387127. Uh, numbers that you can connect with us as well. All right, so let's get back to the uh, program and, of course, that still reflect a bit on some of these uh, concerns. Um, you've talked about the countries that fall under. So does travel health insurance, does it have restrictions to the age of a person that can be covered? Um, yes, of course. Um, but um, in, in ICO, um, for instance, we have that age limit is as um, um, just as like three months and to 85 years. Okay. So we, we've even uh, we've extended our age limit to 85 years. Before it was 75 or 71 for um, for Schengen country is 71 for worldwide is 75. But now both Schengen and worldwide we've extended to 85 years. Wow. So if a baby of three months can be covered? Exactly. And from three months. And an old man of 80, 80, 80 years can 80, be covered? Up to 85 years wow. can be covered. That's wonderful. So is it compulsory for me to take a travel health insurance? Yes, of course. It's compulsory as in as much as you are traveling abroad. Travel insurance is ensure, essential for you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it, it's compulsory or it's just essential? It's compulsory. It's compulsory. Exactly. Oh, okay. All right, because I'm, I'm just uh, curious here that um, if it's compulsory, then a lot of things, you know, people do not need to really, really, uh, I mean, they don't need to omit that if they are going. That's what it means. Now, from the scenario displayed during the introduction, of course, we say that it is very, very important, right, to protect oneself. Uh, but in all of this, what is the premium that one will have to pay? Yeah, for the premium, uh, like what well, as we said in the um, when we started, that the premium depends on the duration of cover and the destination. So let's say, like what I said, I did the first seven days, so you can pay as low as seven thousand. So wow. when you are going to any of the Schengen country, if your age is between that three months to sixty-five years, you pay as low as uh, as uh, uh, as twelve thousand, less than twelve thousand. Now. I need it to be very specific because yeah. this sounds too good to be true. Yeah. Are you saying seven thousand dollars or seven thousand euros or seven thousand naira? I'm talking about seven thousand. I'm talking about ten thousand naira. Ten thousand naira. So, yes, if you are traveling so, within in the, uh, within seven days. Wow. So you have you, the, the the amount that you are going to pay seven ten thousand seven hundred and four naira. Well, I'll have to come back to that. Let me take some of these contributions that are coming in. Uh, this one says, Good evening, Victor. And Mrs. Adebayo said, What types of medical emergencies are usually covered under travel health insurance? Cardi uh, is sending, sending that one in. Medical okay. emergencies. So, what what, yeah. what types? What kind of illnesses will fall under that? Okay. Um, as, as we have mentioned um, before when we started, when 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 anything is emergency so it's that like the scenario that we painted as well yes. so mr peter so you need to come yes. closer to the microphone yeah mr P mr peter the scenario we painted mr peter um he, let's he, take his call let's take his call all right hello there good evening hello okay i guess we lost that oh, yeah go ahead so when Mr. Peter was um, planning uh, to travel and to enjoy his um, vacation, so he, 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 there is no plan that he is going to fall sick. But getting there, it developed an abdominal pain, mm, pain mm. so which resulted in um, appendix. So something like that, an appendix, any emergency sickness can occur. Okay, anything so could fall under that as it emergency. It could fall under that as emergency. Okay, this one says, good evening, Traffic Radio. How can travelers make sure that travel health insurance is valid in countries with different healthcare standards? Hmm. Yes. I think that's a valid point. Exactly. You didn't put your name, by the way. I would have loved if you kept your name. All right. All so, right. how can yes. that be possible? Yes, it is possible. Um, like, let me say, for, for instance, in ICO insurance, so if, if you are going to any country, uh, the embassy, we even, uh, they're going to validate your certi your travel certificate. So we have a platform whereby even on your own, 
if you buy our eco travel insurance health so you have a place whereby you are going to validate your a system has been put in place for you to validate your insurance um uh, um insurance certificate maybe it is valid or not, or not. So, yes okay. and at the and the various embassies as well so when you present this there is a mechanism that has been put in place especially for eco that they will know that maybe this uh, 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 this certificate or your the cover that you owe is is, is being genuine. validated or not. All right. This one says, "Hi, Victor. Please ask the guest how the cost of travel health insurance is determined." Ni from Adekunle is sending that one in. All right. Thank you very much. I've said this before. For you to determine um, the cost of the travel health, it depends on the destination. The destination you that are going to UK is different from the one that is okay. going to. Let me see um, if I can take this call. Yes. Hello there. Good evening. Hello. Okay. I guess so. All right. Okay. Can yeah. I? Okay. Let me go on. Yes. So, so like what I de it depends on the destination. So when when you choose your destination, maybe you are going to Canada now. So and the the the, the, the duration as well. The duration like it can be like three weeks. Okay. So if you are going to Canada three weeks. So the and, and depend on the age as well. So All these right. are the three factors that, that we put into consideration. All right. Before the premium can be determined. This one says, "Good evening, Victor and Madam Ronke. If I I have a travel insurance worldwide cover and I travel to one of the European countries and fall ill and I'm rushed to a hospital facility, how do I process my claims? This All is right. coming from Comrade Daniel or Nobumi. Thank you very much. Um, when you get our, we, we have our travel health insurance. So right from the certificate that you, right from that certificate, the information of, of of the contact information for you mm. to contact is already been displayed on the certificate. Oh, okay, before so, I leave. Yes, okay. before you leave. That certificate of insurance that you owed as it it has already had a lot of the information, the email, the um phone, the, the phone number that you are going to contact, whereby it's twenty four seven. All the details are there. All the details they are all right. there. There are lots of questions coming in for you, by no the way, problem. because I'm really interested in this travel health. This one says can a travel health insurance claim be denied? Yes, it can it could be denied. Yes, it's good because if uh, it depends on there are some if the clauses and um, the terms and conditions are not met, they are not met. All right, we have to go. Really, I, right. I hope we can still revisit this uh, subject matter next week, right? All right. Yes, okay yes, then. Yes. Adibayo, thank you so much for being here. What's your parting thought in thirty seconds? All right. Um, I have a parting talk um, for our listener. Just thirty seconds. So, so is that um, remember that planning your trip isn't complete without considering the health insurance. Mm. Safe travel to everyone. All right, then. So, endeavor to go out there to pick up a travel health insurance. Just said it that one of the units is just um, 7,000, right? For a premium exactly. that can guarantee you medical emergency, 10,000, 10, rather, yeah. uh, medical emergency, evacuation, and even repatriation, too. So, it means there are lots and loads of benefits that are attached to this. We have to go. The program has been produced by Akan Hussein. Thank you so much. When he travels next, I'm sure he'll pick up a travel health insurance right. as well. I say maximum thanks to Definite Media Concept for putting all of this together. And also in the building as well, Lawrence Awuyeli, right? Yes. Okay, then. He's been here observing things. Okay, next week, Thursday, the program makes a return. But till then, I am Victor Terry. Have a splendid evening. Bye. There's a friend who'll be there through the sun, through the rain, and a friend you can trust all the way, every day. Yesterday, today, and always.